At the end of the last video, we mentioned that the Euclidean algorithm applied to the numbers a and b gave us a method for generating an integral linear combination of a and b that is equal to the greatest common divisor. In other words, we have an algorithm that generates solution to the equation ax plus by equals d, where d is the GCD of a and b. This is an example of a linear Diophantine equation. We want to consider the more general case in which we seek integer solutions to the equation ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all integers. We saw from last class that equations of this form have a solution if and only if the GCD of a and b divides c. We can look at this problem from the perspective of the Cartesian plane. The equation ax plus by equals c is the equation of a line. The points x, y, where x and y are integers, are lattice points on the plane. The question of finding solutions to the linear Diophantine equation is the same as trying to find points where the line crosses lattice points. Depending on the specific values of the parameters, there may be no lattice points, or there may be infinitely many. Let's suppose that d divides c. Since d divides c, there exists an integer k such that c equals d times k. By corollary 2-2, we can find integers w0 and z0 such that a times w0 plus b times z0 equals d. We will multiply through by k. Substituting this into the right-hand side of the equation and inserting parentheses on the left side of the equation, we get a times kw0 plus b times kz0 equals c. By setting x0 equal to k times w0 and y0 equal to k times z0, we get a solution x0 y0 to the equation ax plus by equals c. Now suppose that there is another solution x prime y prime to the equation ax plus by equals c. We can set these two equations equal to each other and divide both sides by d. Notice that the terms inside the parentheses are integers since d divides both a and b. We can then rearrange the equation to get it into this form. It can be shown that if d equals the GCD of a and b, then the GCD of a over d and b over d is 1. Therefore, by theorem 2-3, we have that b over d divides x prime minus x naught. This means that there exists an integer t satisfying this equation, which can be rewritten like this. Also, by plugging this back into the equation above and doing some algebra, we get this equation. We can show by direct substitution that every pair x prime y prime of this form must be a solution to the equation ax plus by equals c as well. This result is summarized in the following theorem. Theorem. The linear Diophantine equation ax plus by equals c has a solution if and only if d divides c, where d is the greatest common divisor of a and b. Furthermore, if x0, y0 is a solution to the equation, then these equations give all the other solutions. In class, we'll look a little more closely at the geometry of this equation to gain some more insight into the problem. Thank you for watching this video. I'm currently dabbling with the idea of creating more videos like these for my classes, and I welcome constructive comments that might help me make better videos in the future.